I'm here with Jason, and we are here with a product called Smart B. Jason, can you tell me what Smart B actually is? Yeah, absolutely. Smart B controllers is a wireless network sensor-based growing system. Okay. That sounds like a mouthful. But the idea behind that is, is that you can actually remotely monitor, access, and control your entire grow room remotely. Okay. Uh, obviously, as any responsible grower should be at their space 24 hours a day, but you can't be there 24 hours Correct. a day. So that being said, it, uh, we actually allow the ability to monitor all of the devices that are operating in your system mm -hmm. and basically get what we call the, the healthy heartbeat of your garden. So that is essentially um, knowing that all of your systems are working in concert and being able to see in a graph representation mm -hmm. what's going on inside your room from a temperature humidity CO2 standpoint you can also monitor the mm -hmm. water content of your medium as well as the root zone temperature so this is uh, the system is a series of arrays of sensors this is our LTH sensor uh, LTH and CO2 okay. this is consistently measuring light temperature humidity and CO2 and then this is here is our water content sensor these probes are in the plants and they're measuring root zone temperature as well as water content uh, root zone temperature to prevent the, the uh, pests and pathogens, and then water content to make sure you're giving your plants exactly what you need, because over and under watering are the two hardest things to diagnose in any grow environment. Okay. We also have the, uh, this product here, our Stinger Smart Plug 4. Uh, what this does is actually ties in third-party devices. So while your light and your temperature and humidity are being read, uh, say your, your humidity is outside of its set points that you dial in on the app, uh, it can actually kick on a third-party device like a humidifier. Or consequently, if your temperature is too high, mm -hmm. it can shut off your lights for a little bit to bring the room back down to where it needs or activate an AC, whatever you prefer, and basically just keep that harmony that's going on in your room as well as let you no uh, notify you when something's wrong. Right. So, uh, for example, let's say your, your water content is too high, it can actually cut off a watering in order to keep your, your root zone uh, at the right moisture level that it needs to be at. So, okay. from this standpoint, you know, there's the Star Trek side of it, of introducing all of this great technology into your room and wirelessly networking everything and being able to go to the movies and, right. you know, when something goes wrong, you'll get a, a little notification, but it's about an insurance policy as well. Because too many gardeners have come in the next day, something didn't shut off or something didn't turn on, and they didn't know about it for 12 hours. Okay. This is something that is like really kind of an insurance policy and disaster management against catastrophic errors within your garden, as well as knowing what's going on in your room at a granular level, and it makes great gardeners even better, and it makes new gardeners even more confident. So I would get a notifi notification on my smartphone that there's possibly something wrong. Exactly. Okay. So basically, you'll go through our app, and you'll put in all of this, you'll dial in your set points, and I know technology can be kind of a scary thing in the gardening environment, a lot of dirt under the fingernails and not a lot of you know fingers on the computers so basically what we did was we set this up in such a way that everything's pretty much plug and play and everything talks to each other and all you really need to do is just kind of tap through and start exploring what's going on and we have a series of how-to videos that help explain how to install all the components as well as uh, uh, how to actually read and interpret your data and uh, the fact of the matter is is you know from a retailer standpoint you know we're trying to help them uh, grow their customer base because every successful grower is going to continue to come back to their store and buy all the consumables the nutrients the, the grow cubes and all that stuff so it's about retailers being able to build more customers for themselves and making gardeners more successful in and of their own right so that they scale up and they expand to a new facility. And, you know, so so it's really about just kind of furthering the industry as a whole and using all this modern technology that's available right. to us. Um, I haven't actually seen any products or anybody else talk about an app. Is this, are you guys the technically a dri uh, the driving force between creating an app for something like this? Or is there a lot of competition out there? Well, you know, there's a few of us that are out there and we all bring a little something different to the party. But the fact of the matter is, is we, you know, we, we pride ourselves on being easy to use. Uh, the developer of this product is a 20-year master grower, and the thing that he needed the most was something that was easy to set up, easy to use, easy to understand, and be able to take this data and make decisions about his facility that are going to increase yields and in increase consistency. For example, uh, your irrigation strategy, you can set your daytime range, so between 36% and 77% is what this water content is supposed to be at. Should it fall outside, say below, it will initiate an emergency watering, or if you have a watering coming up and it's at the high end of your set point, 
point, it will cut off the watering in order to make sure things are even. Or likewise, you can just simply remotely turn it on and now we are watering. And then if you simply want to put it in the in the uh, auto position, you just simply slide back to the auto. And then this is our this is our humidity page. Again, daytime humidity and nighttime humidity. And again, let's just say you want to remotely turn on your humidifier. Well, right about now we're making now we're rock stars. Look at this fog machine. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. And again, we simply want to put it back to the auto position, and it will turn it off. If you need more probes, you can just grab another sensor with another six probes. Okay, so it's it's saying okay, I'll be six. Um, as well, let me see if I can get to our lighting control stage. Our lighting control stage. As you can see here, the lighting control space functions much like the regular timers that you see. So you have the ability to actually set this cycle, uh, you know, your on-off, just like you would any other lighting controller, and then just simply lock it in. Oh. So I don't know if somebody turned that off or not. They might have done it manually. Um, we also have what's called this lighting overheat protection module. So let's say your uh, your AC can't keep up with your lighting. It will actually shut off your lighting to bring the room temperature back down to where it needs to be and then kick your lights back on. And it'll repeat that process so that you don't have to turn your lights on for a full eight hours into your room to cool down. It'll just give you the cooling that you need so you don't lose that precious time in the light cycle. Right. And uh, other than that, and I mean, you know, we're going to be adding on uh, more features as we develop. So fertigation, pH, and, uh, you know, PPM and EC controls. And uh, we got a bunch of stuff in development, security, access control, so you can know when your employees are coming and going. And all of these uh, these updates are free with, with, you know, when you buy the system, you are then entitled to all of the future updates. And then you just simply add on the equipment as you want it. Excellent. Yeah. Oh. Well, Jason, thank you so much for everything and My explaining pleasure. to us and showing us actually how the system works. It's, right. This is amazing. My pleasure. Amazing. Thank you so much. You're welcome.